Good evening, thanks for joining us on the news at 8th, today the 5th day of March 2024. I am Chiro Omai for the majority lines. KP government to increase extension workers to boost agricultural development. 70% of financial crimes in Nigeria connected to banks, EFCC says. NSCDC arrests American deportee over visa scam to take martial job activity tools and many more stay connected. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermode Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back now to details. The Kirby State Government has announced plans to increase the number of extension workers in the state from 69 to 1,000 as part of efforts to boost agricultural development. The Commissioner for Agriculture and Natural Resources, Alhaji Shehu Muazu, met this known during the 2024 weekly ministerial press briefing held in Benikibi on Monday. The Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Benjamin Okeze Kalu, has assured that the ongoing constitution review exercise by the 10th National Assembly will address the issue of gender imbalance. The Deputy Speaker, who is also the Chairman, House Committee on Constitution Review, gave the assurance on Monday while speaking at the ongoing roundtable on women inclusion in politics organized by Policy and Legal Advocacy Center, PLAC, Yaga Africa, Nigeria Women Trust Fund, Elect Her, and the European Union EU in Abuja. The Sokoto State Police Command has scheduled Wednesday, March 6, for the computer based test CBT as part of the 2022 recruitment exercise in the states. The command's public relations officer, ASP Ahmad Rufai, disclosed this in a statement he issued on Monday in Sokoto. According to Rufai, the CBT will take place on Wednesday. The Inspector General of Police, Kayode Agbet Token, has ordered stoppage of point of sales, POS machines, and other electronic mobile money transaction devices within police stations and other police facilities nationwide. Agbet Token said the ban became imperative following public outcry on alleged illegal and illicit transactions of POS machine operators with certain police operatives. The police boss, who spoke through the force spokesman, Olumiwa Adejubi, said the ban was aimed at preserving the integrity and security of police operation. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has revealed that approximately 70% of financial crimes in Nigeria are connected to banks. Chairman of the leading anti-graft agency, Ola Ulukayode, shared this information during his address in Abuja at the annual retreat and general meeting of the Association of Chief Audit Executives of Banks in Nigeria. The EFCC boss pointed out that the banking industry was becoming more characterized by fraudulent activities posing significant challenges and concerns for the Commission. The Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corp, NSCDC, has arrested a middle-aged deportee in Ondo State over an alleged visa scam. The state NSCDC commandant, Oluyemi Ibiloye, why parading the suspect before newsmen on Tuesday in Akure said the suspect was arrested in Akure after he absconded from Okotipupa, also in Ondo State, where he duped people under the guise of facilitating their visa issuance to the USA. He stated that the suspect claimed to be a captain in the United States Army and collected 300,000 naira from a female victim whom he promised a slot to work in America. Nollywood actor and director Charles Inouye has described the death of his colleague John Okafor, aka Mr. Ibu, as an irreparable loss to the Nigerian movie industry. 
he stated that the lead comic actor is irreplaceable in Nollywood, stressing that casting him alone was enough to make a movie a blockbuster. The emotional Aliko Dangote struggled to hold back the tears when the funeral rites for the lead group Chief Executive Officer CEO of Assets Holdings, Habert Speedway, began in Lagos State on Monday. Dressed in black attire, the chairman of the Dangote Group broke into tears as he paid tribute to Wigwe, whom he described as brother and friend. Finance will discontinue all services for Nigeria's fiat currency, the Naira, amid an ongoing regulatory conflict in the country. The crypto exchange will automatically convert Naira balances to USDT from March 8 at 8 a.m. Withdrawals will become unsupported after March 8 at 6 a.m. Posting on its website on Tuesday, Binance said the conversion rate for automatic conversions will be 1 USDT per 1 million 515.13 Naira, according to an announcement. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo has advised the federal government to adopt the Zimbabwean model to weather the current storm of galloping inflation. He made the call at a youth leadership symposium with the team Opportunities for Peace, both of the Youths in Conflict Prevention in Africa, held at Olushe Gunobasanjo Presidential Library in Abiyoguta, the state capital, as part of activities to mark his 87th birthday. The former president, who clocked 87 today, urged the youths to always embrace peace over confrontation to solve problems in the continent of Africa. While on sports, Nigerian football needs a radical revolution to reclaim its glory days when the mention of the Super Eagles instilled fear in many African teams, according to social activist Senator Shehu Sani. Senator Sani told CompleteSports.com that Nigerian football has lost its traditional style from the age grade teams to the Super Eagles because of the over-dependence on diaspora Nigerian players and those playing for foreign clubs. And that sports news brings us to the end of the news at 8. Before we go, a recap of our major headlines. KP government to increase extension workers to boost agricultural development. 70% of financial crimes in Nigeria connected to banks, EFCC says. NSCDC arrests American deportee over visa scam. For these and many more, look on our website at www.abntv.com.ng. You can also follow us on any of our streaming platforms to your screen. Help you that nitrous. I am Chair Omai.